Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamel Green, the digital midwife, and today I'm going to share yet another Canva tip with you. And this one is called grouping and ungrouping your elements. Whenever you're doing a design, you always want to make sure you find things that help you be more productive and kind of speed up your design process, right? So whenever you're designing, a lot of times you may be putting different elements, different text, graphics, pictures, all kinds of sorts of things in your graphic design or in your design rather. And you want to make sure that if you have a group of elements that you like them in a group together, that you kind of keep them together, especially if you're going to be duplicating the process and maybe kind of changing up just a tad bit. So if you want to do that, I'm going to utilize my daughter's lip gloss line as a way to show you how to group your elements. So usually when she's doing it, she normally has, not the fourth one, she normally has three of them that she has all the time. And she kind of does them in like a little slant kind of thing. Let's see if I can get it positioned. Okay, so let's say this is the way I want it, right? And so I don't want to keep having to do that every time. I, you know, want to maneuver the graphics around, right? So one way to do that, to keep them together, is to group them. So what you can do is a couple, two different ways you can group your elements. You can just make sure you click on it and kind of select using your mouse, select them all. And you notice that each one is highlighted. So it lets you know that all three are selected. And then you see that this menu above the top shows it becomes something different and the word group comes up there. So if you click on group, now they're all grouped together and when you move it, they're all moved together, right? So now I can resize them all together, makes you know room for a lot more time to spend on a graphic with other things as opposed to just constantly dealing with this one section. Um, moving it like this, I can turn them all together. You can do a lot of things with just that element once you group them together, right? That's how you group them together. Or, let me ungroup them. If you're not a mouse person and you like to use your keyboard um, for, you know, different shortcuts on the keyboard, you can press, click on one of the elements and then hold the shift key down and then start to click with your mouse or your, your keypad, a mouse keypad your mouse pad sorry um and then again it comes up with group and you can group it like that okay say for instance that you want to you you probably group something that you didn't mean to group together all you need to do is make sure you make it active hold the shift key down and then click on the one that you don't want to be grouped and just click ungroup all right and so now it's over and then you can just group Let's click on these two and group it. So now these are grouped and this one is not. So you can change how you do it, but I just want to show you that real quickly because grouping your elements can save you so much time, especially when you're trying to create a template for your business and you want that same element to be that way in all of the different designs. And sometimes once you're kind of playing with it, grouping them, Grouping the elements together will help you have a smoother transition as opposed to not grouping them. Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tip on how to group and ungroup your elements. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.